let's talk about the case play. I'm going to do it by type. There are two main types of ways to get this guy out, the runner. And then I'm going to break it down by level a little bit, too. So first, let's talk about appeal plays, because appeal is the first type, so to speak, to get the guy out. This is a college game. What's the college rule? A, co a runner shall be called out on specific appeals that occur as a result of, amongst others, runner does not touch home base and does not make an attempt to touch it. Fielder may touch either the runner or home plate. That's rule 864. And we have a situation where we need to know that the catcher is actually appealing on this guy. So if he just happens to be standing on home plate, but we don't have a bona fide appeal, we have nothing. But if he's standing on home plate and he's telling the and he's making it known to the umpire, or at least the umpire can piece it together that he wants an appeal, yeah, you can get the guy out. But that requires something on behalf of the catcher. In high school, it's a little bit different. In high school, the rule is 826B, and it says that for a live ball appeal, in all games, an appeal be made, be, may be made during a live by a ball by any fielder touching the base mist. And this, this is a situation where there's a special note in the rule. 825 actually has this note that says... When a play by its very nature is imminent and obvious to the offense, defense, and umpires, no verbal appeal is necessary. For example, runner attempting to retouch a base that was missed. That's the first example they give. So that's this play right here. Because he doesn't make it, there's, high school rule also uses the term immediately. If he doesn't try to immediately go back and touch that base, we have a last time by issue where he's illegal and everyone knows he's illegal. This is an appeal play, and it doesn't necessarily need the verbal appeal from the catcher, but we still need the guy to actually touch the base with the ball and and make it clear that he's actually trying to do that and he's not inadvertently doing that. So in this situation, I have the catcher, does he make an appeal? Does he make it clear that he's trying to get the out that way? I don't know. So I err on the side of, I don't know, and I certainly don't know what he said, so I have to go with the call on the field for the appeal. But the second way to get the out, and I, oh, I didn't talk about the pro rule for this. So very quickly, the pro rule for an appeal play is 509B12, in running or sliding for home base, he fails to touch home base, makes no attempt to return to the base when a fielder holds the ball in his hand while touching home base and appeals to the umpire for the decision. Similar, I don't know what the, what the fielder was doing, if he was appealing to the umpire or not. I don't know. So I have to go benefit of the doubt to the umpire there because I simply don't know what happened. But... There is a second way to get this guy out, which I do believe should have applied here, and that is the base path or three-foot rule. In college, the rule is going to be under, I believe it's 8-5-A, in running to any base while trying to avoid being tagged out. The runner runs more than three feet left or right from a direct line between the base and the runner's location at a time a play is being made. Again, there is an exception for batted balls and interference, but this is not a batted ball interference situation. High school has a similar rule. The pro rule is 509B1. Runners out when he runs more than three feet away from his base path to avoid being tagged unless his action is to avoid interference with a batted ball. Runner's base path is established when the tag attempt occurs and is a straight line from the runner to the base he's attempting to reach safely. I want to point out real quickly that the difference between the college rule the college rule states that it's a direct line between the base and the runner's location at the time a play is being made. Keep that phrase, play is being made. And the pro rule is when the tag attempt occurs. So college play being made, pro tag attempt occurs. I, I, I do believe that those are two different standards. The college standard of play being made is a lower bar to reach than the pro rule, a tag attempt. Tag attempt is a more strict and specific requirement than a play being made in college. But either way, I do believe when the catcher is walking backwards, or not walking backwards, but walking back toward the runner who is just off camera, somewhere to the right of the outer line of the left-handed batter's box, I do believe that that qualifies as a play, and I do believe that it, somewhere in there you do have a tag attempt. And then we see the runner basically laterally galloping and he gets all the way to the point of the plate and then be on the point of the plate so by physical dimensions of the field because we know that the batter's box is a certain width and we know the plate is a certain width he's more than three feet away from that line he's making he's making no immediate attempt to return to touch the base he is out of the base path he is out at that time in my opinion simple contrast real quick in the pro 
rule. We have Ichiro doing this wild thing in Baltimore where he's safe at home plate. Umpire Angel Hernandez does a great job waiting it out because Ichiro is making an immediate attempt to return to touch up of the plate which he clearly missed and everyone knows he missed and we don't have that same three foot slow motion game going on this is an immediate attempt to retouch home home base and we have the catcher making an attempt to touch the runner and all of these other things happening so quickly that in the pro game when Ichiro did it so fast it's a great thing that, he, that that call was withheld because that's exactly what the rule wants but in this situation the runner is not actually trying to touch home plate at any time here he's trying to wait it out for the catcher and once he thinks he has the catcher waited out once that trailing runner has come all the way around the bases then he says i'm going to dive into home plate and see what happens In my opinion he was out for being outside of the base path much earlier than that could have been called earlier either way they get the double play we just have an extra fight on top of it when the catcher says yeah, you played games with me, I'm going to play games with you. And the other team didn't like that, we had a brawl.